Hey. I have lectures I need to film, and uh, this is what I've come up with for a space to, to do it. My desk here, which you can't really see down here, um, main computer setup, a uh, couple lights, uh, things in the background. I'm just gonna go through some things that are on my mind about trying to build a setup like this for filming. There are plenty of other channels for information on camera choice and lighting. I'm not gonna do that, but for myself to sign off on these videos, I have to bring it up to a certain quality. As an example, my posture. I'm leaning forward now, this is this is comfortable, but I don't yet know if this is the, the best way I should be sitting. Yes, I am criticizing the way I sit. I have a microphone stand just out of frame and I've raised it up to its maximum and I'm booming in a microphone just out of frame. I started by using this desk mounted mic stand, but uh, I don't know, the mic is a bit large. Here, let me, uh, let me pull it in. No, let's not do that, actually, that's a shot. This is a trick I figured out. If I touch the tip of the microphone and compare it to what's on screen, um, if my finger is outside of frame, hey, we did it, we're hiding the boom. There's that sunlight again. Hey, Google, remind me in an hour to get blackout curtains. Goddess, I'll remind you at 12.02 p.m. Yeah, that's really annoying. I have three lights, one over here, one over here, and this one up here I forgot to turn on. I did just use this gray card, but I didn't use it in the first clip, and technically speaking, I have auto white balance on because the app sucks. You know what, let's just, let's cut that whole section about gray card. I don't like that you can't see the table here, but if I push the camera back, uh, the stuff behind me becomes less blurry. Uh, if I move things down, um, I think I got a little bit of room up here. Not a lot of space in the way I've framed this camera, but let's change it anyway, just to see. Oh, that's so much lower. It looks like this is shoulder height. Uh, I'm looking down at the camera, which is a little weird. Oh, hi, son. You can see my hands on the table and all the other crap, like, uh, let's get rid of this. I'll have to examine the frame to see what else is uh, kind of in the way. I don't think you see this wire, or if you do, let's just tuck it. I have my arrangement of lenses that are hiding over here. Let's get these out of the way. Oh, they're still in the way. Sunlight aside, we at least have some table now. I can do gestures where I touch things on the table or put a lens in front of me. Yeah, my desk is kind of cramped, so it's not really a nice angle for this, unless you want to see the back of the monitor. The way this desk is built, I can't really shift over and film like this because there's this thing in the way. I sort of don't like that you can see up here, I got a bunch of books up here, hiding out of frame. The wall behind the camera only goes so far, which limits my lens choices. This lens is the 35 millimeter equivalent. Switching to a 50 millimeter lens would help with uh, the stuff up here, but I don't like my 50 mil. Let me show you why. Here's a close up on the 35. I pull that away it reacquires my face. This 50 millimeter equivalent lens exhibits something called focus breathing. Well, technically all the lenses exhibit focus breathing, but um, it's extremely noticeable on this lens. Let me show you. I don't wanna have to adjust the height, so please bear with this squished frame for a moment. Here's the lens focusing, and watch how much it zooms when it switches back to my face. That is focus breathing. All of my lenses do it, but it just seems more extreme on the 50 mil. Oh boy, 
This is smaller. This is my 75 mil equivalent. Let's try it out. It's great for this, just look at how blurry the background is. But this is too intense, unless I'm trying to intimidate you. This is my 24 millimeter equivalent. And as you can see, you see too much. There's like, this chair should be out of frame. Here. It just shows too much. You're not seeing as much separation between me and the background now and the distance between the top of my head and these books has gone away, thanks to the change in focal length. We can improve that, but let's test focusing first. Let's bring the camera closer. Okay, this is not bad. You can see my hands and uh, the table in front of me. So when I put something here, you can actually see it, although there are better angles for that. Focus test. I mark some details about the lens I'm shooting with on the lens cap. As you can see here, this one's listed as my 24 mil equivalent. It's actually a 16 millimeter according to Fujifilm. Uh, and then I also list the distance. I list it as, let's see, 15 centimeters is the distance or the minimum focus distance for this lens. So physically speaking, I wanna say I'm like 20 or let's say 20 some centimeters away from the camera. So it should be able to focus and you should have been able to read the text there. You can see a lot more on this lens, but I am concerned about my background separation since I do have a very interesting background and I don't wanna distract you too much with what's going on behind me. I still really like it though, but I'll have to look at this myself and, and make some judgment calls. Like the books up here, I'm actually above them now. Back at 35. This is not an ideal filming setup, but uh, I'll make it work. The background separation is a concern of mine. Last couple tests, let's put my phone over here. I'm going to, oh, I dropped that. I'm gonna bring a laptop into frame. This is close to 90 degrees. Not a great angle for actually working. Let's find that. Hello, Batman. How art thou? Also, this is important to see what my gaze looks like because I'm now looking down at the, uh, at the laptop. The lower angle might be an improvement for this, this low angle of me wanting to actually be able to read the laptop. Okay, let's, let's pretend this is a mouse. We're just gonna move it around, click, 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 typey, 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 move, move, move. Um, let's also pull it forward. This is right at the edge of my desk. Um, I did not think this would be comfortable, but it's actually not as bad because uh, I have to put my wrists on the laptop anyway. Type, 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 read, 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 look at camera. Hey camera, how you doing camera? Something, something, something. I'm a very knowledgeable person. Typey, typey, typey. Let's try a different laptop. This is my workstation laptop as opposed to my network administration laptop. It's a great machine. I love this little machine. It's just, uh, it doesn't have a good GPU. So this is what this looks like. Obviously much larger. I do have some wide shoulders and this probably suits my frame better. That's a tiny one, but I still like it. Hello person. I'm typing programs. Important things. Looking at camera. Waving hands around like I'm trying to make a point. Typing things. Moving the phone around like it's a virtual mouse or something. Hello, 
laptop. Cool. That's it. We'll try this again later. Ciao.